You are listening to a Life in Quebec podcast. For more, visit lifeinquebec.com. Hi, this is Ruby Pratka from Life in Quebec. The article you're about to hear, Gérard Deltel on the CAC and Quebec's future, first appeared in the July 2014 issue of Life in Quebec magazine and was written by Michael Bourguignon. At the time, Gérard Deltel was an outspoken Coalition Avenir Québec, MNA, for the writing of Chauveau. Deltel is currently running federally for the Conservative Party in the writing of Louis Saint-Laurent. So here we go. With the Sovereignist Parti Québécois now in opposition status in the majority Liberal government, it's time to set sovereignty aside and get on with the issues that really matter to voters. And another referendum is not one of them. So says Gérard Deltel, the newly re-elected MNA for Chauveau, an outspoken member of the, quote, other opposition party, François Legault's Coalition Avenir Québec. What we need to do now is deal with the real issues of the people, and people voted against having another referendum. That was the key issue, Deltel said in a recent interview at his Loretteville writing office. As is often the case in Quebec politics, voters express their distaste for the reigning party by marking their ballots next to the names of the candidates most likely to succeed, suggested Monsieur Deltel, whose CAC party finished third in the April 7th election. We don't want a referendum, so we'll vote for the party that's at the top of the polls, he said of the voters' intentions. Not because people disagreed with our platform, but they decided to vote liberal instead. Until Québécois go to the polls next, Monsieur Deltel and the CAC intend to act as the unofficial opposition in the National Assembly to be a watchdog on issues such as the economy, employment, transportation, daycare services, and other issues of importance. Our priority now will be to apply our platform. I think we have to stick to our guns and be proud of our projects. We already see the government taking a lot of our proposals, such as the government hiring freeze. That's exactly what we proposed during the campaign, so we hope the government will remain on the same track. According to Monsieur Deltel, the Liberal government is not alone in adopting CAC policies. The MNA was pleased when Quebec City Mayor Régis Labaume publicly accepted the contention that the economy is in no shape to accommodate such municipal mega-projects as an ice skating track when provincial coffers are $260 billion in the hole. I was very glad to see that Mayor Labaume took almost word for word what I said a few weeks ago. What we said during the campaign is that these are good, interesting projects, but we have to put them in priority. That's why we said the expansion of the Henri IV Highway is a top priority because transportation is an issue in Quebec, Monsieur Deltel said. We're living beyond our means, and we have to think about what we're leaving to future generations. With the PQ ousted from power, at least for the time being, should those who oppose another sovereignty referendum stop worrying about the future? Sovereignty is not necessarily dead, Monsieur Deltel warned. I'm not a sovereigntist, and I never will be, but ideas never die, he said. I've met some seniors who fought all of their lives for this project. They're not in mourning. And what about the type of identity politics that led to such controversial projects as the PQ's Charter of Values and, historically, Bill 101's restrictions and regulations on the use of languages other than French in many areas of public life? The best contribution of Bill 101 was to make English-speaking people bilingual. We have to take advantage of that and take inspiration from it. In other words, yes, we're proud of our identity, but we cannot be scared to speak English. It's important to recognize that the Anglophone roots in Quebec are deep. How does Monsieur Deltel view a future with the ever-looming prospect that sovereignty may ride again and a hypothetical majority pick his government? If I was them, I'd be proud of my position and assume it, because you have to be clear in politics. If a Pekist government is elected, then we should have a referendum, because then the people would be the ones to decide. When he says people, he means all of us, regardless of ethnic or linguistic identity, and he trusts that the people are capable of making informed choices about our own future. To Monsieur Deltel, that means a future as part of a strong province of Quebec within a united Canada. And it means being able to admit that we'll always need a little help from our federal friends from time to time. I think the people of Quebec can be very proud of both Quebec and Canada, of being Quebecers and Canadians at the same time. The Federation has made us prosperous, he said, adding, thank God we have equalization payments from the federal government. Nine billion dollars. How can we imagine the future of this province without help? CAC party leader François Legault left the Pekist camp for exactly that reason, because he didn't see the future of sovereignty. His final thoughts on the future involved the Coalition Avenir Québec gaining more and more steam. 
the party posted a modest gain of four seats for a total of 22 against the opposition PQ's 30 and the Liberals 70. Our goal is to be the next government, for sure. We have four and a half years to get ready for the next election, which will be a choice between a Liberal and a CAC government. How does he hope to win the hearts and minds of a majority of Quebec voters by that time? By applying the party's platform, keeping a closer eye on the Liberal government, and letting their work speak for itself. Thank you for listening to the Life in Quebec podcast. For more news, commentary, editorials, and opinion, visit lifeinquebec.com slash podcast.